Welcome everyone. Today we tell a D&D story on how a brave group of heroes challenged an evil necromancer. In this two-part saga, we will first describe the plotline of our adventure and then give you a step-by-step -step explanation on how to set this adventure up in your campaign. Please subscribe if you enjoy the video and want to see more. Last we left our adventure, our heroes stopped by a local tavern to enjoy some ale. In between sips of beer, our heroes overhear Barkeep talk about the local news. One story in particular catches your attention. In a nearby mountain range, there is a dormant volcano. The stories of old say that this volcano once erupted and destroyed the valley below. Many years passed and the land recovered to what it is today. This morning, we saw plumes of white smoke rise from the mountain's crater. Something is going on here. Two adventurers were sent to investigate the mountain and they are long past due. Our players are good-hearted people and they seek out the mayor. We want to help you search for these missing adventurers and uncover the mystery of the mountain. The mayor smiles with gratitude. Oh, thank you, kind sirs. Your charitable service to our town is greatly appreciated. Our heroes gasp in dismay at the thought of working for free. Being generous and fair, adventurers, we are willing to accept a meager fee of 100 gold pieces each. This is an honest wage for our team of level 5 adventurers. The mayor purses his lips and counters. We haven't sold our harvest yet, so we don't have the coin to satisfy that request. If you are willing to accept alternative forms of payment, we can pay you in livestock and crops. Our heroes agree and depart toward the, the volcano. You reach the summit at nightfall. Inside the crater, you see a small tunnel descend into the volcano. Here you discover a swarm of undead surrounding an unknown magician. He chants an arcane spell, and the undead charge toward you. Roll initiative. The first step in creating this adventure is scrolling down and taking a look at the video description. There you will discover all the battle maps, boundary VTT modules, and token art you need to create our story. Download the features, modules, and artwork that you want in your game. Now let's talk about the three main challenges of the adventure. We have a social interaction with the mayor, an exploration challenge, tracking the lost adventurers, and a combat encounter against the evil necromancer. Let's start with role-playing the mayor. Mayor Adam is an affable and well-liked politician. This means you should try to be friendly with your players. I recommend inviting them to go fishing with you and have dinner with your family. If your players offer to help, you should accept. Adam is very worried about the volcano because it could destroy his town. He hired two adventurers to investigate the volcano because he cares. If your players ask for payment, you should give them anything that is reasonable, up to 150 gold pieces per player. Be sure to specify that this payment will be given after they get the job done. If they ask for more, then tell them that you feel exploited. If your players continue to negotiate, I recommend responding with the following statement. I will do the best I can to repay that amount. Tell your players that if they continue, then they could ruin their reputation with this town. If they continue, give them what they want, but hint that there will be a price to pay. I really enjoy this flexible approach to role playing because it lets your players have what they want and gives you you the freedom to introduce complications to the campaign due to your players choices. Now let's discuss the exploration challenge. The locals don't know much about the volcano. It is a dangerous place that has a lot of environmental hazards like mudslides and wild animals like wolves. It takes a skilled scout to travel to the volcano unhindered. My recommendation is to ask each of your players to describe how their character helps the party avoid trouble on the journey. Give each player that participates a point of inspiration. For example, a fighter might suggest using his spare sword like a machete to cut down foliage for the party so they can travel easier. I like this way of presenting exploration challenges because it is collaborative and gives your party the chance to bond with each other. Finally, let's talk about the battle with the necromancer, Henry. He was once a talented apprentice to a wizard, but discovered that his master was a fraud. Years of his life were wasted studying under a charlatan. The shame was too much. 
Henry retreated into isolation and self-loathing. Many years passed and his humiliation did not subside. Ultimately, Henry decided that the only way to find happiness was to fulfill his destiny of becoming a master wizard. Henry discovered that this volcano had an ancient fire elemental sealed within its center. He decided that if he could tame this wild magic, he could become a summoner of immense power. Who cares if the volcano erupts? When our heroes arrive, Henry is in the middle of a ritual to free the fire elemental. As the undead attack our heroes, I recommend chanting magical words to hint that Henry is in the middle of a summoning ritual. Among the adversaries are two fallen heroes. These are the adventurers that Mayor Adam hired to investigate the necromancer. They are dead and resurrected as skeletons. I recommend you add some lootable items to their bodies, like a personal letter to their family or a faction emblem. This is a great plot hook for future adventures and downtime activities. The final twist to their battle is when the players break through to Henry. I can see three things happening. The most probable outcome is that our heroes break Henry's concentration and the fire elemental goes free. In this case, Henry tries to escape using the Misty Step spell and the, fire, and the wild fire elemental attacks the closest target, probably our heroes. The second probable outcome is that our heroes get bogged down in combat and Henry finishes taming the fire elemental. In, this, in that case, the fire elemental uses hit and run tactics from the safety of the lava to destroy our heroes. The last outcome is that our heroes use area of effect spells to blast Henry, which destabilizes the volcano. I recommend warning your players early and often that this can destroy the town. Something along the lines of the walls of the cavern begin to shake violently, teetering on the edge of collapse should work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments section of the video.